In this tutorial, you will be using Illustrator and After Effects to animate the mouth of a character exactly like this one. Ricetta numero 1. Penne con salsa di pomodoro crudo e parmigiano reggiano. In Illustrator, I've designed a character, which the most important feature here is the mouth. The mouth, in fact, is exactly a straight line, and this is very important later on in After Effects. However, on layer 2 in Illustrator, I've designed another part of her mouth, which simulates her mouth when uh, she will be talking later on. So if you look at them one over the other, you see they are perfectly overlapping. Now back to After Effects. In After Effects I have to import this character and I will go to File and I will say Import File. In the pop-up window that comes out, it's important that I choose my file, the Illustrator file, and in the um, additional option that I have at the bottom of the window here, I must choose to import it as a composition retaining the layer size. Once I've done so, the Illustrator file will be imported as a composition. You see the icon is different. And when I double click on it, it will actually open a composition that contains two layers. One is shown, one is hidden. And the one hidden now is the one that represents the open mouth of the girl. If I show that layer, you will see that the girl opened the mouth. So I will take that layer and I will place it below the first layer. So the open mouth, which I can re rename by pressing enter here, and I will type open, uh, will be underneath the closed mouth. Closed. Now, into the effects and presets on the uh, right hand side, I'm going to pick a uh, filter called split. And you see there are two of them. One is called CC split and the other one is called CC split 2. I want to apply CC split 2 to the layer on top, the layer called closed. So I drag it onto the layer and you see that immediately it positions two points here over the layer. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more so it's easier to uh, know exactly where I can position these two points and I'm going to place them at the corner of the mouth. Here we go. CC Split 2 comes with four values, point A and point B. I've already placed them manually. Now I'm left with Split 1 and Split 2. Split 1 is the value that defines how uh, low will go the lower lip. Split 2 is the one that defines how high will go the upper lip. Now, I don't want to animate everything uh, manually because it will take uh, way too long. So what I've done, I've imported also an mp3 file here, which is a recipe read in Italian that I'm going to play for a few seconds just to share the content. Ricetta numero uno. Penne con salsa di pomodoro crudo e parmigiano reggiano. So I'm going to take this audio, I'm going to drag it down into my composition and uh, I want to right click over the uh, timeline um, of the mp3 file and choose keyframe assistant and convert to uh, keyframes, convert audio to keyframes. When I click on this one, uh, immediately adds a new layer on top called audio amplitude. If I tap the letter U on my keyboard, it will show me that this audio amplitude contains a set of uh, left channel, right channel and both channels. It doesn't matter which one I use, just for simplicity I will use only both channels. But the most important thing to note is that when I move my uh, current time indicator, the value for the slider will keep changing according to the voice of the girl. In fact, if I tap double L on the keyboard, you will see that the value of the uh, boat slider will change according to the variation in the wave form. So it, as uh, the girl speaks louder and louder, the value will go higher and higher. So I uh, clock here a 21 and uh, I clock here a uh, 28. So the largest number I've read is 28. I need to know this number because this will, will be the number that I tag to the uh, split. So I go back to the effects control window here. I make sure I select the correct layer, which in this case is the uh, closed layer. So the uh, split values will be displayed for me. Now I'm going to hold down uh, alternate on my keyboard and click on split one and hold down alternate and click on split 2 on the stopwatch. Immediately the number turns red, which means that it is now depending on an expression, which I haven't written yet, but if you look at the timeline, you will see the expression field is now highlighted. So what I can, what I can do now with this uh, uh, number is to push the number up 
to grab the value from both sliders. So here's what I have to do. With expression split 2, I grab it and I drag it onto this slider using the pick whip control. And I do the same thing with split 1, grab and pick the value from slider. Now if you read the expression, the expression states, from this composition get the layer audio amplitude, apply the effect both channel and take the value from slider. Since uh, uh, split 2 is the upper lip and I don't want the upper lip to go so high, uh, I will uh, look at the value that uh, comes out and we remember that the highest value we read was a 28. I will add a modifier to it and I will say whatever is the value that comes out of this expression divided by 2. So I will say slash 2. However, for the lower lip, I don't mind if it goes a little bit uh, lower, uh, it will make it look more natural. So here I can say times two. So I double the number for the lower lip and I uh, divide uh, in half the value for the upper lip. Here is how it will look like. Ricetta numero uno. Penne con salsa di pomodoro crudo e parmigiano reggiano.